Welcome back to the Culture of Currency, where we are ranking our top 100 world silver coins. We are today going over as number 24, 23, 22, 21, and 20. So hang along for the ride, and if you get too upset with how I've ranked things, make sure I know in the comments where I've gone wrong. <laughs> Many of you like to do that, and that's okay. So number 24 is an interesting coin. It's right here. Many of you are very familiar with this coin. This is the Morgan Silver Dollar. This is, in particular, a 1901 Morgan Silver Dollar. This is 0.773 ounces. Mine's probably a little bit less because it's been worn so badly. I bought this for $39.57. There's no idea uh, exactly how much we're minted. I mean, we have a pretty good idea, but I don't necessarily remember off the top of my head. But it's currently valued at $37.87, and that's because I bought it when silver was a little bit higher. I think everybody should have one Morgan in their collection if they live in America. And if you don't, you know, if you want a historic coin that kind of was around when the West was wild, then this is a pretty cool coin for you. So that's number 24. For number 23, we go to Europe. As we can see in this almost Norman period night, this is going to be a depiction from the area around the Crusades. Very gorgeous coin, as you can see. This is from a three-part series highlighting the Vien or sorry, the um, Austrian mints uh, anniversary. And this particular coin is one of my favorite from that. It is my favorite from that series, actually, but it is one of my favorite of. European coins in general. This is called the Wiener Neustadt, which is what you see here. Absolutely beautiful. It's an entire town that, as legend would have it, was founded by the ransom silver paid by England when Austria held King Richard in a castle and basically held him there until it was paid. The way that the light plays off of everything is absolutely amazing. And it's I find it, uh, that it's very hard to be hyper-realistic in coins uh, just because there could be a couple of elements that aren't so realistic and it destroys the whole thing. But this is one that is more hyper-real and looks just fantastic. Gorgeous, gorgeous coin. So this is the Wiener Neustadt. And I bought this coin for $25.10. There's 100,000 minted of these, so you can probably still find them. And it's currently valued at $33.45. Up next, we have an amazing coin. One of my favorite coins from this nation. Right here. You can see this is the New South Wales Coat of Arms coin. Just amazing how all of the elements are in play. Some of you might have got mad my last video when I said that the maple was at number 25. I mean, how, how do you argue that obverse versus this obverse? I still have the queen there. It's not like she's not there, but look what you've done. You've created a scene that holds so many more beautiful things about a nation all over the place. When we go to the reverse, we see more traditionally important things to the area of New South Wales. The Murano sheep, for example. Just gorgeous. There is one coin in this series, the first coin in this series, I missed the boat on. I just was not uh, buying silver when they came out, and then whenever I started buying they were gone. So if you happen to have that one and you need somebody to hold it for you forever, I have hands and I would be more than willing to do that. Just email me and I can send you that P.O. Box information. So that was number 22. Number 21, once again, we go to Canada. And I know you're going to say, oh, but the obverse is the same as the maple. Well, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. But when you go to the back, that's what really differentiates this coin. This is a 2008. You'll see that this is a little bit different in the back. 
it doesn't have all of the radial lines that the standard maple does. It's muted a little bit. It's kind of just got these, I don't know if I can pick it up on camera very well, but it's got just these lines that go up and down just to give it some texture. But the back is where we have our maple off access, but we also have this over here highlighting the Vancouver Olympics. And we have the Anukshuk, which is a Native American symbol that was used to kind of highlight the Olympics. We always have this symbol or logo with the Olympics. And for this particular one, we got to use a Native American symbol in the Anukshuk. So that being said, yes, I like this Canadian maple more than the standard Canadian maple. And if that makes you mad, I'm sorry. So I paid $34 and 91 cents for this coin and it's now valued at $39 and 45 cents and it has just under 500,000 minted. I believe it's 437,000 or somewhere around there, but that's the Anukshuk maple And our last coin today is also going to drive some people mad Whew. Here we go before you kill me, understand that there's a reason. Here we are. Number 20. This is, uh, yeah, this is the ASE, American Silver Eagle. I apologize in advance. I would like to donate to a charity of your choosing, and I would like to purchase your earphones in case you're flying my way to berate me. Uh, but yeah, this is the 2021 ASE. And why is it here? because this is one of my favorite images in all of coins, yes. But we're getting very low on this list, and it's this. I am not the big fan of the flying eagle in this depiction. There are plenty of eagle coins that I do like, trust me. In fact, the older American Silver Eagle is among them, and you will see that on this list. It will be a bit lower <laughs> than 20. This was something that just seems so underwhelming to me, uh, and so it just never sat right. So that being said, yeah, the 2021 American Silver Eagle finds its place at number 20. Um, I can already hear the keyboards typing in the comment section below, and I will read those and give them their due diligence, <laughs> but understand uh, that this is a subjective list, and I know for many of you this is coin number one or two or three, and I get it. I absolutely get it. But when they went to this type two design, I just, ugh, it put a, a weird feeling in my stomach, and I just haven't liked them ever since. But I do love this. That is a thing of beauty, but it is only one side of the coin. So yeah, uh, that's where we are. I hope you uh, can stand by my choice, as it is just a subjective list once again. Uh, and I hope that you remember to stay classy and current with the culture of currency.